Hello, my name is Stefano Centenaro. I am a software development engineer here in StepLab and I will introduce you to the main functionalities of the Test Center, a universal software platform for the control of our testing machines. Through the Test Center, users can configure different types of tests, including static tests, tensile testing, compression testing and creep testing, dynamic tests, fatigue testing, and flexible tests through an environment that we call the multi-action test mode. For example, if we configure a fatigue test and we create a new method, we have the possibility to interact with this menu, including all the most important parameterization for the test that we are going to carry out. We can configure the specimen name, some custom properties, for example, the operator, and of course, the main settings of the fatigue test. We choose how many cycles to run. We choose whether to control position or load. In this case, we are going to execute a load control test from, for example, minus 25 Newton to minus 250 Newton, starting at 1 Hz. We have the possibility to activate or deactivate an automatic brake detection algorithm. We can configure specimen geometry properties, we can input the room temperature of the test, we can configure the safety parameters of the machine, and we have an automatic data saving algorithm, so we enable uh, the, the saving of a certain percentage out of the total number of cycles set for the test. Finally, we can configure the settings for the preliminary calibration and the regulation algorithm to follow the load profile that we configure. Once the test is set, we can save it as a test template through a dedicated functionality. A test template can be recalled an indefinite number of times and it's going to stay as we saved it until we overwrite its settings and it's useful to recover predefined test configurations without the need to rewrite them every time from a blank sheet. Once the test is ready, we can execute it. The machine is now executing the preliminary calibration and here we have the fatigue profiles. There is an initial self-regulation transition and as soon as the machine enters in the tolerance range, the cycle count begins. The frequency can be modified in real time without the need to stop the test. We have real time data coming to the Y time graph. We have uh, the hysteresis loop displayed in real time and we have the monitoring of maximum and minimums for load, position and other significant parameters. <laughs>